predicting the products of an addition reaction. The first thing you want to do is analyze the reagents. What type of reaction is going to happen? Each type has its own characteristics. There are 10 different ones that we studied in this chapter. Here's a picture of all 10 of them and their regiochemical and stereochemical outcomes on the depicted alkene in the center. We're going to go through each one of these briefly, but um, you should be able to start from a different alkene and draw the outcome for each set of reagents. Once you've named the type of reaction, you've got to consider regioselectivity. This is where bonds form. For instance, if I do hydrochlorination of this molecule, I end up with this alkyl chloride. This regioselectivity is Markovnikov because the chlorine ended up on the more substituted alkene carbon. What ended up on the less substituted one? Hydrogen. Next we talk about stereospecificity. Remember, an alkene is planar, it's flat. So, your reagent, XY, each component can add above or below the plane. If they both add to the same side, that's sin. If they add to different sides, that's anti. Here I've reacted my alkene with my reagent, XY, and notice X is on a wedge, so it added above the plane. Y is on a wedge, so it added above the plane. They're both on the same side, that is sin. Also, the enantiomer of this molecule is sin. If the X added on a dash and the Y added on a dash, that would also be sin because they both added from the same side. In anti-addition, one adds on a wedge and the other on a dash. So one's added from the top and the other is added from the bottom. That's why it's anti. The enantiomer is also anti, where you would have X on a dash and Y on a wedge. This matters when you create chirality centers, which will not always be the case. But it's important to understand the difference between the stereochemical outcomes when you have syn addition versus anti-addition. The way to do this is to memorize the reagents and understand the mechanisms. Any mechanism that I've explained is fair game. So, make sure you learn those mechanisms, go through them step by step, then you won't have any problems predicting the products. Know these outcomes, given the following sets of reagents. The first is hydrohalogenation where your reagent is a halo acid, either HCl, HBr, or HI. The first step in the mechanism is proton transfer with the pi bond acting as the base. This creates a carbocation, which is planar. Hence, the halide ion that is generated can attack from either the front or the back, and there is no stereospecificity. However, the outcome is Markovnikov, meaning the hydrogen adds to the less substituted position and the halogen to the more.